Yeah, so I think this game screen's layout is also dumb. Oh, and uh, finally, let me show you another feature of this Android Studio. As I said before, this these layout are XML file, so you can actually see the XML code as well. So here you can see these uh, three icons here: code and split and the design. And if you click this code, so you can see this kind of a XML code. And uh, this code and this design basically is the same thing. So this is just a graphical represent representation of this code. So when you uh, like a place image or a text or button, then uh, these XML codes are automatically generated. Like yeah, image view, text view, and uh, here this is where the story story adventure starts here and. Uh, text color is white, stuff like that, layout margin, and text size. So these are everything we have done so far. And uh, so the Android Studio kindly generate this kind of uh, XML code automatically. So yeah, you, actually you can arrange the layout uh, with this XML code as well. So either way is fine. Yeah. You can change the stuff from here as well and uh, if you switch to the design so yeah like this you can change the stuff from here as well so you can change the text color or margin or height or these attributes you can change from this XML file as well so if you are familiar to HTML or XM XML then uh, Probably this is also a good way to do it. Okay, then finally, uh, let's go back to this title screen. Then I think I'm gonna add an image to this title screen as well because it looks cooler th that way. So again, let's select this image view and uh, place between this text view and the button, like here. And uh, I'm gonna choose this gate gate picture and okay so let's uh, take care of a constraint thing so first let's connect to the start button like this and uh, also let's constrain to the both side as well so you can drag this arrow and uh, touch this screen like this or also you can just click this plus sign so it says create right constraint. Okay, it doesn't change anything, but actually now it is connected to the both side as well. But I think this default gate picture is uh, already a little bit too large. So I want to create a, a little margin on both side. And uh, in this case, first we're gonna switch this layout width to match constraint and because uh, if you choose this wrap content then you cannot change the default size so it basically stays at the default size so first uh, choose this match constraint and then add some margin to both sides and uh, actually you can insert margin from here as well so choosing like this kind of number like this so this is also a convenient way but uh, I think I, I want to insert to all directions so I think uh, use this layout margin and uh, like type 50 or something here so like this and uh, also I think it's okay but I, I'm gonna connect this top of this graphic to the bottom of this text like this so now I think everything is constrained nicely hmm okay I think and I think I'm I wanna move this start button a little bit so like uh, margin 50 
What about this one? How about it? Hmm. Okay. I think this looks better. So the title screen is also done. And uh, there is still one thing left we're gonna do. That is, we're gonna put ID name, unique ID name to every single component. You can still make the game without doing it, but uh, setting unique ID definitely makes the work easier. For example, click this this text view and uh, so here in this attributes section you can see this ID box. Uh, I'm gonna change this ID to from text view to uh, title text view and choose yes. So you can see the name here has changed has changed and so then click this one so image views this one and uh, I'm gonna put the name title image view and uh, this bottom uh, start bottom okay and yes and uh, let's choose this game screen so first this image view to uh, game image view and uh, this text is uh, game text view and these four buttons I'm gonna set this uh, choice button one choice button two choice button three and uh, choice button four okay that's everything so this way every single component has a kind of like a easy to understand the name and uh, we're gonna use these ID ID name later so when we actually type Java or Kotlin code so now we're gonna start writing code so this is where the path is separated so first I'm gonna complete this game in Java and then I'm gonna make the same game in Kotlin okay so thanks for watching and see you again bye